Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on C programming for beginners and in this video we will see how string works in C and what is a string. Now what is a string first? A string is a single dimensional array of characters which is terminated by a null character. Now let's see how we can declare string in array and then we will look this definition once again. So what I have said, a character array. So character array, you can declare it like this. Char and for example, my string, this should be string and then character array. So square bracket, for example, we define the size of the, is this array as 6 is equal to and here comes uh, these curly braces and inside these curly braces, braces you can define uh, the initialization to these characters right or you can do something like this okay so this is called a string once again the definition a string is a array of character so this is the array of characters which is null terminated so in this slash zero in C is called null terminated character okay and so this hello is the string and our string is terminated by this null character that's why we are saying our string is null car terminated character array right in other terms you can uh, define a string with a character array of uh, non-definite size for example char my other string and we give our, our array uh, a non-definite size which is not defined and you can just write something like this and it's also totally valid okay so you can define string in two ways in C one is like definite sized array and you can initialize it like this or uh, undefinite sized array of characters and you can initialize it like this now to print these uh, string you can just use printf not this but printf and I can just print my string so I can write my string value is equal to percentage s so here we are using percentage s to uh, print string right and comma we will just use this variable and let's see what is the value of this variable and let's uh, give a line break to the message we are printing so that we can print in the next line the next message and in here we will just write my other string value and we will print this second variable like this okay and let's compile and run the program and it's printing the same value right my string value is equal to hello my other string value is equal to also hello right so in this way you can define string in array now there is a header file in C called string which you can add to your uh, uh, main.c and then you can use some function from this header file and you can perform some different uh, functionality using this header file. So first of all we will include this header file in our uh, C main.c file so just include and then we will add string 
or string dot h right so this is the header file in c which we can use to uh, perform different uh, functionality with string okay now the first fu uh, function from this string dot h we are going to use is string copy s t r c p y okay this is this function and this function what it does is it enables us to copy one string to another okay so for example we have a string of some size for example let's say we have a string so string string one for example and we give this uh, array or size of uh, 12 and let's uh, delete for this for now and then we will declare in a same manner string 2 of size 12 and I will uh, tell you why I'm taking this size as 12 okay in a moment and we will declare a third string and it's also of size 12 but we are not initializing it okay this should be string 3 okay and now using this string dot h header uh, header file we can use this function called string cpy and it takes two argument one is the destination and one is the source okay so for example we want to copy this should be for example let's change this to world okay so for example i want to copy string one to string three so this string copy function copies string one to string three in this way so you just write or you just take a variable in which you want to copy first as a first argument of str copy and then you take the second argument this second argument is the variable whose value you want to copy okay so in other other word you can just uh, think like this s t r c p y and it's used to uh, copy to dest which is destination from source source this should be source okay so to the destination from source so source is string one from which we want to copy and destination is uh, string three and to which we want to copy okay now there is another function in uh, string dot h header file which is called string cat s t r c a t and this function allows us to concatenate two strings for example we want to concatenate this first string and second string we can concatenate it like this so just take a first string comma second string okay so we want to concatenate first string and just after that we want to join second string to it you can do it like this okay and when you hover over this what it says this says that this also can return some value okay so what's uh, this uh, string cat basically doing is it's adding string 2 to string 1 okay so add string 2 
to string one, which should be like this, string two to string one, okay. Now there is a, another function in uh, C in this header called strlen and this gives you the length of the string okay so for example if you want to get the length of the string length means number of character or size of this uh, uh, character array for example right so we will do this also and this we will save in another variable for example we name this variable as uh, integer length int length string one is equal to okay so this str length returns the string of uh, the variable which you pass it as an argument let's try to print all these uh, values so first of all print f and this is the result of string copy we want to print for now so for example string copy uh, is equal to and percentage f percentage s and then we will just see the value of this uh, string 3 because it we are copying into string 3 from string 1 using this function now in the same way let's change the line here in the same way we will see how this string cat works and we will see the value of string 1 because we are adding string 2 to string 1 so let's see the value of string 1 and we will also see the length so we will also see something like this so we will also verify this str len and this will be verified by this but this is the integer so we will write percentage d here let's try to compile the program and run it and it says first of all the string 3 value is hello which is true because we are copy we have successfully copied the value hello to string 3 okay so this is printing hello now second string str cat have concatenate our concatenated our first string and second string which is hello world so it has added second string to the first string the third uh, value returns us uh, 10 why it's returning 10 because now our string 1 has a size of 10 because it's hello world 1 2 3 4 5 for hello and 1 2 3 4 5 for world so string size is hello world now for example we want to see the size of uh, string 3 it should be 5 because it only contains hello in it right compile it and it says 5 because the size of string 3 is h e l l o which is 1 2 3 4 5 characters that's why it's showing 5 here okay there are other functions in uh, this header file uh, for example string uh, compare or some other functions for example you want to compare two strings you can use str cmp and this compares the two strings so for so this string dot h file is a very important uh, header whenever you are working with string files i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now